Welcome back. A volunteer at the office of the Occupy Central Movement was arrested for her part in the July 1st demonstrations of 2011, prompting questions as to why it took police nearly two years to act. Melody Chen is a solicitor trainee who is now helping the University of Hong Kong Associate Law Professor Benny Tai Yu Ting to launch the movement to fight for universal suffrage in the 2017 Chief Executive Election. She has been charged with organizing and joining an unauthorized assembly on the July 1, 2011. She wrote on her Facebook page that, I have just been arrested for the 2011 demonstration, now heading to Central Police Station. A police spokesman said Chen, 26, was charged with one count of assisting to hold an unauthorized assembly and taking part in an unauthorized assembly. The incident was on the July 1, 2011. Members of People Power and the League of Social Democrats rallied scores of people to continue protesting after the conclusion of the day's annual march organized by the C4 Human Rights Front. Scruffles broke out and officers used pepper spray to subdue them. Police arrested 231 people but charged only 19 of them in January last year. Dr. Benny Tai Yu Ting, one of the founders of Occupy Central, said the government hoped to create white terror with their arrest in a bid to suppress a peaceful disobedience movement. Hong Kong Human Rights Monitor Director Lo Yuk Tai described the arrest as unbelievable and said the public had failed grounds to suspect political motives were behind it. Police said they have tried to contact Chen multiple times but she had refused to assist them with investigations. She was then listed as a wanted person. They said they worked in accordance with the law and that absolutely no political considerations were involved. Three brothers have been arrested in the U.S. city of Platteland over the kidnapping of three women found safe in the house after being missing for a decade. Ariel Castro has been charged with kidnap and rape, but his two brothers have been released. The police said that they were not involved in the crime. There were more questions than answers the day after the stunning turn of events that began with a frantic arm sticking out of a screen door. A woman screaming for help and a neighbor kicking the door to free her in a working class neighborhood. Police did confirm that one of the women, very now 27, has a six year old daughter, apparently born while she was in captivity. The three OU women were abducted separately in 2002, 2003, and 2004, but were found in the home of 52 year old. Ario Castro, not far from where it disappeared. Castro and his brothers, Pedro, 54, and Onio, 50, have been detained. Please believe that the three women were tied up at the house. Charging Ariel Castro with four counts of kidnapping and three counts of rape. These seven criminal complaints are first degree felonies. The charges came as police disclosed that the women who were rescued after Amanda Berry fleed with the help of neighbors had not seen any previous chances to escape in nearly 10 years of captivity. Authorities said the women recalled leaving the house only twice in a decade they were kept inside. Police also said they were kept in separate rooms where officers found ropes and chains. The city had a sign of relief at the happy ending to a horrible story. The women released from a Cleveland hospital early yesterday.
It's time for you to special. One for really ensure knows how to make use of limited time during his morning workout. In a video that started trending this week, a YouTube user named David Wilson captures a man as he walks and dances on the treadmill. While everyone else at the gym goes about her business, this guy is busting out moves like he's the fifth member of OK Go. Wilson writes that this guy does his routine almost daily and surely looks pretty good. Hey. Because of you. I have a boyfriend. Okay. I thought. Okay. Have you ever dreamt of a gorgeous girl that you wanted to kiss, but you're not sure if she's interested, or you don't know how to smoothly go in and for a kiss? This group of teenagers is trying to kiss every girl they meet. However, they failed most of the times. Most importantly, think of how the girl feels before asking whether you can kiss her. Are you, um, are you part of a, are you, um... Let's now look at the weather. It was sunny today. A warm and humid marine time airstrip is affecting the coastal areas of Guangzhou. Today's temperature ranged from 24 degrees Celsius to 29 degrees Celsius, and relative humidity was between 75 and 95. So, how's the weather tomorrow? Sunny interviews with a few showers. Temperature will range from 25 degrees Celsius to 29 degrees Celsius. It will be mainly cloudy with a few showers in the coming few days. Tomorrow's API is forecasted 25 to 80 and the distribution level will range from low to high. The UV level for tomorrow will be about 10. So this is the end of today's weather report. This is the end of today's KD6 Rest News. It will now be followed by KDC Live. See you soon. Bye.